Hi everyone, I'm Katie Quintana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a first trimester pregnancy update. So the last time I did an update was all the way back, probably, I don't know, I was like eight weeks when I did it, but it was covering just my early pregnancy symptoms, like how I knew I was pregnant. So if you want to see that video, I will link it above and in the description below, but it was like my very early pregnancy symptoms. So I will kind of cover an update from like six weeks to 12 weeks. I'm at 13 weeks now. So we're pretty much coming to the end of the first trimester. So I thought this would be a good time for an update. So here we go. Um, I had my 12 week appointment last week and everything looked good. Baby's heart rate was 168. So the only thing that came up was doctor said that since I'm so old now <laughs> that we will have a level two ultrasound for the anatomy scan instead of just a regular level one. So I guess they just look at baby a little bit closer because after mom turns 35, babies have a slightly higher risk of birth defects. So I will be 36 when this baby is born. So we have to get a little bit more in depth ultrasound, but everything looks good so far. So I'm not really worried about it at all. So symptoms, not a lot has changed since I did my last update. Um, I'm still hungrier than usual. The nausea now is getting a lot better, but really it never got bad as long as I was eating every two hours or so. It was really, it was really nothing. I do have to pee a lot. <laughs> I have to wake up multiple times at night to go to the bathroom. And so that's kind of annoying already. So I'm waiting, I'm hoping that eases off here again pretty quickly because I know it'll come back at the end a lot, but I'm hoping for the break in the middle that usually comes for a little while. <laughs> then I did have a few weeks where I was really dizzy and I just kind of felt like I was rocking on a boat all the time. Like especially at night when I was trying to go to bed, it just kind of felt like there's a constant like rocking in my head and it was very frustrating <laughs> and really annoying. And then it's like during the day, my head just kind of felt fuzzy. Like I couldn't completely focus on anything, but I was still able to do things. I was still able to do tasks and to school the kids and do everything. But it just felt like I wasn't always all the way there. And it was just, I don't know if it was lack of sleep or if it was from the dizziness as well. So luckily that has kind of tapered off and it's not as bad. I still do get dizzy a little bit, but that's pretty common for me. I'm kind of, when I'm pregnant at least. So hopefully that continues to keep getting better and we'll see because that was not fun. <laughs> oh, I have had cramping and stretching pains, especially if I'm like rolling over at, in bed or trying to get up too quickly. So there are some of those growing pains. I know they're just going to keep going. So they're kind of like nothing. I'm used to them and I've, I've experienced them through all my other pregnancies, so they don't really concern me. But I know as like a first time mom, I was always concerned why it felt like there's so much cramping and pulling and discomfort. Um, so for me, it's been totally normal for all my pregnancies. So it doesn't bother me anymore. I mean, it bothers me because it's not comfortable, but <laughs> it doesn't concern me at all. Then I just look pregnant already, <laughs> which is frustrating at 13 weeks. Um, I usually like to try to, well, I usually don't even like to tell anybody till after 10 weeks. And this time, uh, because of circumstances, we had ended up telling everybody at like six weeks. So it has just felt like it's already been dragging for a long time. So this kind of feels like, like the longest pregnancy. Well, like it's going to feel like the longest pregnancy. But I definitely could not be hiding it at this point. I mean, I look enough pregnant that strangers feel confident <laughs> talking to me about being pregnant. And I'm like, yeah, I'm 12 weeks or 13 weeks. Yeah, it's so I will show you my bump later at the end of the video. <laughs> so I had planned on doing a video on um, outfits to hide your baby bump, but I'm not really sure what I have available in my closet that will hide my bump at this point. <laughs> so if I can manage to put together a couple outfits, I will do a video about um, dressing to hide your baby bump. So if you're interested in that or interested in more pregnancy updates or baby names and baby content, there's going to be a lot more on as I go throughout this pregnancy. We also do homemaking and Christian lifestyle, Christian parenting content, homeschooling. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications. Yeah, I guess I will 
show you my belly. So. <laughs> Yeah, definitely bigger than all my others were at 13 weeks. So it's not so easy to hide it. <laughs> so, but it's okay. I think that comes from having no muscle tone and not being in shape after giving birth the last couple of times. So I had actually lost most of the baby weight from Rebecca already because I've been doing Trim Healthy Mama. Really, I got pregnant with Rebecca at when she was 11, or sorry, I got pregnant with this baby when Rebecca turned 11 months old, and I had almost lost all of the baby weight. Like, I'd almost lost all the baby weight from all four of my kids, so I had, was down to what I almost weighed before I had got pregnant with Grace 10 years ago, 11 years ago. So it was really doing awesome and I was super excited, but I still had like no muscle tone and I had no core strength. So my belly still did kind of look slightly pregnant, um, even though I had lost a bunch of weight and was, you know, pretty thin. So I was already kind of looking like I had a baby bump all the time. So then as soon as I got pregnant, it was pretty much just popped out. If you like this pregnancy update, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave comments below about what some of your symptoms were during the first trimester or if you have any questions for me. This is baby number five. So if you have questions about pregnancy, I would love to go ahead and do a video maybe on just all your questions and give you guys answers on how, what my experience was, things like that. So if you have any questions for me or if you want to share anything about your pregnancy journey, definitely go ahead and do that in the comments below. I love to read about other people's pregnancies and their journey to create a family, whether it's either through adoption, pregnancy, whatever it is. I love stories of growing families. So share your comments below. Let me know if you have your own YouTube channel talking about your family or your pregnancy journey and things like that. I would love to check it out. So thanks. Have a good day.